Welcome to a, uh, a different concept on how to solve some other examples on osmolarity. Example five, how much sodium bicarbonate in grams will be needed in a parenteral solution that has a osmolarity of 4,000 milliosmoles per liters, given that the molecular weight is 84. So this question is asking us to solve how much sodium bicarbonate in grams will provide an osmolarity of 4,000 milliosmoles per liters, given the molecular weight. Step one is to write out the formula for calculating milliosmoles and all the known values from the equation. First, we have to write out the formula for calculating milliosmoles. It is milliosmoles equals mass in grams divided by molecular weight in grams per mole times number of particles times 1,000. So if we look carefully into our question, we are already given the molecular weight of sodium bicarbonate to be 84. The milliosmoles per liters of sodium bicarbonate is 4,000 milliosmoles per liters. The number of particles of sodium bicarbonate will be equal to 2 because sodium bicarbonate is an electrolyte that will dissociate into sodium and bicarbonate. So we have two particles in there. So what we're missing right now is mass in grams. So it takes us to our step two. Our step two is to calculate our unknown, which is the amount of sodium bicarbonate in grams that is needed to provide osmolarity of 4,000 milliosmoles. So we have to go back to our formula, which says milliosmoles per liter equals mass in grams divided by molecular weight in grams per ml times number of particles times 1,000. But we already know that we have our milliosmoles per liters, which is 4,000 milliosmoles per liters. We have our molecular weight, which is 84. We have the number of particles, which is 2. What we're missing right now is our mass in grams. So if we use this mass in grams as our circular formula, we have a new formula. And this new formula is mass in grams equals milliosmoles times molecular weight divided by number of particles times a thousand. Our step three is just to plug the values we have into the equation. So if we plug our values correctly, we have 4,000, which is the milliosmoles of the sodium bicarbonate solution. We have 84, which is the molecular weight of so, uh, sodium bicarbonate divided by two, which is the number of particles times a thousand. So we should have 168. It means that 168 grams of sodium bicarbonate will provide an osmolarity of 4,000 milliosmoles per liters. Example six. Example six asks us to calculate the total osmolarity of this parenteral solution. Given dex dextrose and hydrose is 50 grams, Sodium chloride is 77 milli equivalent. Potassium chloride is 20 milli equivalent. And water for injection, we ask us to add water to make the old solution 1000 ml. So we're not concerned about the water, we're concerned about the components of this parenteral solution, which is anhydrous dextrose, sodium chloride, potassium chloride. So what we need to do is we have to calculate osmolarity of each of this component. So step one, step one is to calculate the milliosmolarity per liters of the dextrose component of this parenteral solution by using the formula. And the formula is mass in grams divided by molecular weight in grams per mole times number of particles times a thousand. So if we look carefully into our into our, our question, the molecular weight of dextrose is 180. The mass of anhydrous dextrose from the question is 50. So if we plug all those values into this equation, we have 50, which is the mass of dextrose. We have 180, which is the molecular weight of the dextrose times one which is the number of particles of dextrose 
times a thousand, we should come up with 278 million osmosis per liters. It means that the dextrose component of the planetary solution will provide 278 million osmosis per liters. Step two is to calculate the million osmosis per liter of the sodium chloride component of the planetary solution using the formula. Mass in grams divided by mass molecular weight in gas per mole times number of particles times a thousand. So our first step is to find the mass, because we were not given the mass of uh, sodium chloride, we we're given the molecular equivalent of sodium chloride. So we have to find the mass of sodium chloride that will provide 77 milliliter equivalent. How do we do that? We have to use the equation milliliter equivalent equals mass, mass divided by molecular weight times valence. So we know the milliliter equivalent of sodium chloride is 77. The molecular weight of sodium chloride is 58.5. The valence of sodium chloride is 1 because sodium chloride will dissociate into a, a, a cation of sodium which will have a plus 1 ion and an anion of chloride which has a negative 1. So the overall balance and the valence of the sodium chloride will give us 1. So what we're missing right now is the mass of sodium chloride. So if we make mass of sodium chloride is 77 milliequivalent, the sodium formula we have 77 milliequivalent times 58.5 divided by 1 will give us 4504.5 4, milligrams or 4.5 504.5 grams of sodium chloride. So it means that 4.5045 grams of sodium chloride will provide 7, 7 milli equivalent of that same sodium chloride. So our next step is to find the milli osmoles per liter of sodium chloride using the formula milli osmoles per liter equals mass in grams divided by molecular weight in grams per mole times number of particles times a thousand. So we already know our mass of sodium chloride is 4.5045 grams. Our molecular weight is 58.5. The number of particles of sodium chloride will be equal to two because sodium chloride is an electrolyte that will dissociate into sodium and chloride. So the milliosmos per liter will be equal to 4.5045 grams divided by 58.5, which is the molecular weight, times the number of particles, which is 2 times 1,000. We have 154 milliosmoles per liter. This means 154 milliosmoles per liter it is, is what is going to be provided by 77 milli equivalent of sodium chloride. Step 3 is to calculate the milliosmoles per liter of sodium chloride component of the parenteral solution using the formula. Milliosmoles per liter equals mass in grams divided by molecular weight in grams per mole times number of particles times a thousand. But same as the uh, sodium chloride component, potassium chloride was given to us in milli equivalent. So we have to use this milli equivalent to find the mass of potassium chloride that will provide this 20 milli equivalent. By using the same formula, milli equivalent equals mass divided by molecular weight times valence. We know the milli equivalent of potassium chloride is 20. The molecular weight of potassium chloride is 74.5. Though we're not giving boys something we need to know. We need to know the molecular weight of potassium chloride and sodium chloride. So the valence of potassium chloride is one, same as the sodium chloride, because potassium is a cation that will produce a plus one ion, and chloride is a is an anion that will give us a negative one ion. So the overall balance of the potassium chloride should give us a valence of one. So what we're missing right now is the mass of potassium chloride. So how do we get the mass of uh, KCl in 20 mil milli equivalent? We just do mass of KCl in 20 mil will be equal to 20 milli equivalent times the molecular weight, which is 74.5, divided by 1. 
So we should come up with a, a mass of 1,490 milligrams or 1.4 grams. It means 1.49 grams of potassium chloride will provide 20 milliequivalent equivalent of that potassium chloride. Our second step is to find the milliosmoles per liters of potassium chloride. This is our formula. Milliosmoles per liters equals mass in grams divided by molecular weight times number of particles times a thousand. So we already know our mass is 1.49 grams, molecular weight is 74.5. Number of particles of potassium chloride will be two because potassium chloride will dissociate into potassium and chloride. So if we Plug in our numbers correctly, we have 1.49, which is the mass of potassium chloride, divided by the molecular weight, which is 74.5, times number of particles, which is 2 times 1,000. We have 40. So it means, it means 20 milli equivalent of potassium chloride will provide 20 milli osmos per liters of potassium chloride. Our step four is to add up all the osmolality of each component to find the total osmolality of the parenteral solution. So if we add up 278, which is the osmolality of the dextrose, 154 is the osmolality of the sodium chloride, and 40 is the osmolality of the potassium chloride, which will give us a total osmolality of 472.